right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and building my 2.2 version of the SCX-10 uh, this is the Bronco body here from Proline um, I keep getting the same question over and over and really to be honest it, it stumped me for a good week or so on how to do this. Now this video will hopefully show you guys how I did the rear body mounts of my Bronco build um, being that it is a 2.2 version, it's raised up a little bit higher, so the stock body mount won't work uh, with this particular build. So there's there's lots of you know people doing body mounts out of the rear of the vehicle. Um, some go up top. I did choose to go up top because I didn't want to ruin that perfect rear tailgate of that Bronco build. So um, went up top and I used some unconventional hobby items to make this all work. Now, when you're modifying hobby uh, uh, RC cars, it, you have to kind of think outside the box sometimes and not think just, you know, what can I get at the local hobby store? Um, hardware stores are great. Um, there's other places, craft stores and, you know, places like that that you can pick up items to help modify your RC. So think outside the box when you are doing some of those custom mods. Um, let's go ahead and take off the body and I'll show you what I did. I'm going to grab the camera and we will go in deep on this Bronco build. So one second, let me grab the camera and let's go on in. Alright, so I got the camera now and I'm going to try and hold everything steady for you guys so you guys can see everything. Um, basically what I did was I still took that stock body mount, but I had to figure a way to raise it up and still make it somewhat sturdy because the rear of that Bronco is pretty, pretty high. So needed to make it sturdy and needed to have some kind of body mount to mount everything to. So you'll see here that I have a threaded rod. This is just quarter inch stock from a local hardware store. Picked it up, I cut it to size and I went ahead and painted it black just so it would be a little bit less inconspicuous um, on the vehicle. Now you'll notice that in the shock towers, the way the body mounts uh, mount into there, it's not just a round surface. Now, you do have to get a little bit creative with some metal cutting tools to get that to fit in there perfectly. Now, what I used, I went ahead and used a Dremel right there, a little cutoff tool, just to start grinding down some of the big parts. And then I used just a, a flat um, file, just a metal file, to get the surfaces very smooth. Um, the biggest thing on this is you got to test fit often because if you cut too much off, it'll be loose in there, and then it won't be serving its purpose. Now, one other thing I did was I used these stock little body pins in there, just a, a simple small hole, mark it, and everything's good. So you'll notice I left the threaded rod pretty high. I didn't quite know how high I needed to go, so when I went and zip tied this body mount on there, it has plenty of room to basically either raise or lower if I need to. The other thing that really helped me out here was you'll see how the body mount is set back somewhat by mounting onto the threaded rod. Well when I put on my roof rack I didn't realize that I was putting my roof rack on kind of right where those body mounts were going to be so that's basically it. Hopefully you guys like this mod and if you have any questions, please put it down below. And as always, if you like the video, thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Over and out.